What's up guys, it's Lewis from Bitter Blade Co. and today I'll be showing you how I took this wire flux core welder and converted it into a gas MIG welder. Let's check it out. Okay, so a quick backstory to this uh, welder. It's a Hobart Handler 125. I purchased it off of Let Go for about 120 bucks. So it's a flux core right now as a setup. And when this welder was marketed, it was marketed as a MIG ready welder. So MIG basically means, for those of you who don't know, it runs off of a shielding gas. And it makes the welds cleaner, there's less splatter, it's just overall better to run a welder, in my opinion, with MIG compared to just flux core. So this was set up for flux core, and when it was sold, it was sold as MIG ready. Now, they still sell this welder, but the only thing different is that the way they market it now is it's still MIG ready, but there's fittings in the new one. So the new one is MIG ready, and there's a solenoid, there's fittings, there's hoses, it's all set up. Now this welder, when it was sold, was also advertised as MIG ready, and you would have to buy a kit which had the fittings, which had a solenoid, which had all the stuff you needed to convert this welder into a MIG welder. Problem with that is the kit to convert this into a MIG welder is no longer available. When it was being sold, it was sold for I think $95, and um, it had everything: the valve, the solenoid, the regulator, the wire, and it was 95 bucks, and it's no longer available. Like I said. The only one that's similarly available is one for a Lincoln, and that retails at about $300 or $250. So I wanted to see what I could do on a low budget and what I could do to make this work off of gas. So here's what I came up with, and here are the parts. Okay, so here are all the parts. We have a regulator, we have a gas solenoid, two different types of hoses, Teflon tape, solid MIG wire, not flux core wire. Uh, barb fitting, which is quarter inch NPT to fit in here. Uh, I'll talk about these fittings in a second. Uh, an adapter, hose clamps, and these welding tips. This all right here was $85. And that's not bad considering that it comes with all these tips and with the regulator. So 85 bucks to convert your welder isn't too bad. Uh, I'll talk about these and these right now. Now before I go into what size hoses these are and what these connectors are for, I want to go through how I know I could use uh, this for gas. First thing that I know is that this tube right here is a tube that goes all the way out to the gun. So see, it goes through here. Also how I know that this could be used for a MIG welder and be converted is that on the circuit board there are two empty terminals. As you can see, RC6 and RC8 right there. And if you look at the wiring diagram for the welder on the inside of the case, it shows you those same two terminals, RC8 and RC6, with this optional gas valve. And that, if you put a multimeter up to that, you can see that it is a 115 volt spot on the circuit board, so I have this 115 volt solenoid. And the main problem with this when I was trying to figure out what parts I need was how I was going to convert this quarter inch hose into something larger that I can go, or that I could uh, plumb to the regulator. So CMAT Make over on Instagram was nice enough to give me these. So this is a quarter inch inline push to connect connector with a four millimeter to quarter inch adapter. So the plan is to put this adapter into the inline, plumb this to the gun, or I will plumb this quarter inch outer diameter black tube to this connector with this eighth inch to quarter inch bushing onto the solenoid going out rather and then out the back of the solenoid will be this barb fitting with this three ace outer diameter tube oh, I'm sorry yes but yeah three ace outer diameter three sixteenths inner diameter tube going out and to the regulator which will be attached to the tank. So like I said, all of this was $85 including the regulator, not including the tank. So I'm going to start by working on uh, the in portion connecting to the regulator. Yes. 
not too shabby. Now I'm going to try to get this tube onto this barb fitting, wire this up with connectors, and get it installed in the machine. Here's the tube that goes to the gun, here's the adapter, here's the inline, here's a black tube that has to go back there, if you can see. So I'm going to cut this shorter, maybe around there, to get this back there. And I put the fuse button, I flipped it, and I was able to fit this underneath. So now I can wire up to these two terminals and then we could fire it up and test everything. This is a very important part of this. Now, if you don't do this, this will not work. As you can see, on here, it shows the polarity. The polarity has to be switched, whether you're doing solid wire or flux core. Now, right now, it says uh, uh, electronegative for flux core wire. And right now, the electrode, which would be the, the gun, is on the negative. So we have to switch it to positive, so we have to do electrode positive. So we have to switch this wire over here and this wire over here. I got this on finally. And I'm gonna just put this on the bottle and we can test it out and see if it flows. Okay, and we're gonna test this out. Hey, nice. Okay, so we're getting an LPM of about 18. That's on the high side, I can control it with this. Um, all right, it, it's feeding gas, I mean, I can feel it blowing. I'm ready to start welding. All right, cool, let's do this. Not bad. The gas is definitely flowing. I could hear it. I could feel it coming out of the nozzle. And you know, it's not the, the best weld in the world, but we're getting there. Dig it. All right, let's tack some stuff together. That line. Not the cleanest welds, but it's way better than the flux core, and I'm still getting used to it. Very nice.
There's a lot of people I want to thank for this project. I've had a lot of help because I basically have no idea what I was doing. I want to thank CMAT Make on Instagram. I'll link all their uh, accounts in the the description of the video. I want to thank CMAT Make for helping with the plumbing connectors. I want to thank Lag's Work, Lionel, over there for lending me his gas bottle and his regulator before I picked up my own gas bottle and regulator so I could see what I really needed. I want to thank Chris Zepieri over at Make Everything Shop for letting me use his mask and giving me information that I obviously didn't know existed that I needed. I also want to thank Hobart for being very supportive and telling me what parts I needed and telling me what I could use with this. Um, yeah, I'm Lewis from Bitter Blade Cup. Thanks for watching and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.